Holy frick. And hello me Clockmakers here with episode one of our Lego Stars the Complete Saga playthrough. Yep, we're taking a little break from the Hobbit. Um I didn't really have anything I could do today um for a video, so I thought hey let's play one of the best Lego games ever made. The complete saga. So Oh for Music. Okay, I don't want to get copyrights. <laughs> like so, I'm just gonna turn the music down. Motion center to function. Not brightness. <laughs> I'll just stick with one. Except and let's. Create a new file. Here we have Mozart's Cantina. Um, so a little bit of backstory. I used to have this game when I was uh, a lot younger. I eventually sold it. Um, recently rebought it for. You, well, used for about $10. Well, it was $10. It was $9.99. Um, maybe it was 10 I don't know why I'm fussing, uh, fussing about a one cent difference, but recently um, bought it again. I never actually 100% of the game. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe we will at some point. But levels in this game are shorter. So, there are definitely going to be more playthroughs of this than there will play of The Hobbit, as this game is just easier to film for. Um, I can get more content out every day for you guys with it. Um, so I basically can pre-record a bunch for while I'm away out of state. But let's go into episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Can't forget the R2-D2 here. Okay. Oh, chapter one. Negotiations. Episode one. The Phantom Menace. Chapter one. Negotiations. Tremorilla has engulfed the Galactic Republic. With a blockade of deadly battleships, the Trade Federation has, stop has stopped all the shipping to the small planet of Naboo. The Supreme Chancellor has secretly dispatched, dispatched Jedi Knights Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to settle the conflict. Looks like that's it. This game is a very nostalgic game. I always wanted this set, but by the time I got this game, these all the sets in this game were way outdated. They were all the sets in this game were about. Like, at the very least, they're five years old. No, I'd be like the newest of them with, was five years old. That droid actually had a minifigure of the May the Fourth version, which is very good move. Oops. Uh oh. That's brutal. Um. Looks like we got trapped in here. Now let's. Get all studs we can here. Um, I'm mainly going to be playing as Qui Gon Jinn as I just like Qui Gon Jinn more than Obi Wan in this movie. Okay. First we just gotta 
use the force in all these chairs. Also, the reason I'm not playing is Obi Wan. Um, his figure is super inaccurate back in 1999. Um, he has brown hair for some reason, even though he has orange hair. Um, yeah, even the creators not have brown hair. But. I mean, Obi-Wan in general is a cool character, one of my favorite in the entire saga, actually. The entire universe. Um, especially love him in the latter of the two prequels. And there's actually a bit of a secret room here that you don't need a droid to unlock. This room is a great room. <laughs> just, just one of the stud. It's one of the rooms where you get you get a lot of the studs that you need in this level for a true Jedi here. Okay, Obi Wan. Oh, never mind. These are always great. These give you these machines there in a lot of the game. Oh, we already get true shitting. Um give you a ton of studs. Okay. So now still gonna be focused on getting studs, but just a little less focus. Studs, very important, as they're very sparse in this game. And we're going to need them for the red bricks. And also, we're going to need them for characters. Some gold bricks in, in this game, and uh, also likewise, the Lego Batman game, first one, um, you actually... Some of the gold bricks you need to buy, which, yeah, is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so for starting for her completion. Also, red power bricks are just it, terribly expensive in this game consider- like, they're terribly expensive for any LEGO game, but then also considering how sparse the studs are. Oh, terrible. Okay, here's actually a glitch I'm gonna show you from back in the day. Um, there's a mini kit up here. You're supposed to use Jar Jar or Grievous to get it, um, because they have a higher jump than everybody else, but if you do a, um, one of these, the double jump slam, like, at the right time, you can glitch and get it, and there we go. So there's a trick from back in the day. Um, there, here's also the trick. Okay, I don't care about studs at this point, I have 50,000. Oh, I want that, I want that blue stud back there. Okay, um, really power up. So power ups in this game, they introduced them just for the complete saga and they never brought them back or anything, but, um, basically what they do, they make you stronger and you're, like, for a limited amount of time, you're also invulnerable. And blinking, so that means it's about to go away.
Mm. Only one comes over here. So you can get the droid through. Now we just need TC-14 to open this for us. And there's the end of level, or chapter one, rather, negotiations. Um, if we were speedrunning this, it would only take about two minutes. Well, not two. Probably closer, closer to three. Or four. Um, <laughs> my point is, uh, we spent our time, but that's okay. So we got a couple money kits, and true Jedi. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, basically, for a little while, Saving up my money, so I'm not gonna really get any Lego until I go on my trip. So Lego videos are gonna videos on this channel are gonna be sparse, just like the studs in this game. So I figured, hey, let's play this game so you guys can get more content out of me. But thanks for watching. Don't be crackled, and peace out.